The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. And you will find rest for yourselves, for my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. May unto na tong tanan. Unsa magyoy nakahatag ka na to burden? Unsa may nakahatag na to dako yo kayong problema nga nakita ni Jesus nga he wants those things to be erased from our life. During the time of Jesus, the Jews suffered so much because they were invaded and subjugated by the Romans. And to them, taxes were imposed. Grabe kayong taxes, burdensome yung kayo. Plus, unfortunately, they had religious leaders na medyo heartless kay legalistic kayo imposing so much rules and rituals impossible to perfectly follow. Huwag muna nakita ni Jesus no? sa mga tao puno sa burden nga wa ka hinungdan. Why tumung? Okay? All of these are not God's will. Gani, from time to time, Jesus would had would have a kind of argument no with the church or not church but religious leaders tungod kay naay mga gipangimpose nga mga rules nga against the will and the law of God ya mo dey gipasunod nila sa mga tao ya why meaning for example you cannot help your fellow men in need on sabbath kay helping is a kind of work against the Sabbath law ko, no? Diba? And so many other rules and regulations. Muna nga, Jesus wanted to help them. Wanted to lift up everything that burdened his people. And the only one who could actually save them from that situation was Jesus himself. Muna nga siya nga, come to me. Wasi mo nga, mo dito, ato mo nila, kundi come to me and learn from me and you will find rest and indeed no kung muduol ta ni Jesus when we learn from him how to look at things how to look at life how to observe the laws of the land and the laws of God in a balanced way kasi Jesus baya was a servant of the law basta Lawful, like for example, when he was asked, is it lawful to pay taxes to Caesar? He was saying, yes. No, give to Caesar what is what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. Meaning, observes yah, law. Gani ni pay ni pay mga sa taxes sa temple tax. Pero ang iyang pagfalo sa balaod ni Sunan is done in such a way na balance yun. What is due to God? would be given to God. What is due to the government would be given to the government. Dili ba nga blind obedience ba? Kaya balaod man niya, ang balaod is immoral. Masunod nga pong ka. Hindi siya na. Yan mo na i-gibuhat ni Jesus in his life and he wanted his fellow Jews and not only the Jews but all men at all times to follow the way he lives. Kunya, ningos siya nga, take my yoke, for my yoke is easy and my born is light. So it's a life nga, na good day, in dun ta, responsibilities. Kaya ang yoke ni ini is, 
in the terms of the Bible, ang yoke is submission to the will of God. Ang yoke is also, uh, could also mean the commandments of God and the laws of God. And to obey the will of God is indeed burden some. But, mga kisunan, if you obey the will of God as Jesus obeyed the law of God, the will of God, it will be light and it will be easy. Okay, he did it with great meekness. I did it with great love. So ma, si Jesus, he, did he ever complain when he suffered so much? Kato biyang passion ba? No? Mwago siya, kaya tawagod siya, sakit tanggol siya. Pero did he complain? Did he say any cursing words? Or did he regret? Nga no mani? No? Ano ni tabuk mani nako? No? Oh, I surrender. Di na ko ani. No? Nga mo ay usually atong madungog ba sa mga tao ba nga wakasabot nga nung they are suffering. They blame God and blame, they blame others what they have suffered. So yung anak si Jesus nga mo dawat sa buto sino with submission, with total abandonment. O mo nang he did his mission with great joy and with sense of fulfillment. O at the end of his life, early life, he said, into your hands I commend my spirit. And he said, it is finished. No? Yung muna gusto may tabo ni Jesus to us. No? Kunya, another meaning of going to Jesus and finding rest, kini bang ang word in sampod, no, as I look at it, is kanabang guilty feelings. Kaya wherever you are, kung nakasakag na ko, guilt would always be there. No? Madato ka, mas successful ka, no? popular ka, kung nakay guilt is indeed burdensome. And who can actually relieve you of that guilt? No other than Jesus himself. Di ba kung humban ka mong pisan? Or before confession, mag bugat kayo mong ipamati? But what happened after you have confessed sincerely? Sa tanay mga sala, you would feel light. <clears throat> I couldn't forget my first journal, general confession. It happened once upon a time. So once upon a time, a seminary minor. That was 19... 79. I was first year, no? Uh, supposedly first year college for like my special class. Yeah, first time ko naka sa seminary. Then it was a night of confession for all seminarians. So I did a serious uh, examination of conscience. And that moment was a graceful. Uh, moment because all the things that I could remember were about reminded me of all of them. And I could not forget even the serious ones. And so in my turn I confessed everything and it was a very what we call this uh, heartfelt confession uh, I said my sins with tears flowing no, from my eyes. Then after confession, when the priest absolved me from all my sins, I walked and I said to myself, Lord, you can take me. Okay, mo kung naglaka ko sa panganod, no? After making that general confession. Omopo na ang mahatag ni Jesus when you get reconciled with Him. And you can only find that feeling, that peace in Jesus. One ang usa nga, come to me. And I hope nga, when you have 
that guilt feeling, she would go to Jesus. You cannot find that peace from anyone else and from anywhere but Jesus alone. Amen.